Hello everyone, welcome to the 12th class of 10th masterclass. Today in this video we are going to talk about the future perfect continuous tense. This is the last class of this whole 10 series. You are at the end of this series, so congratulations for that. So this future perfect continuous tense is also called future perfect progressive tense. This is also an advanced English tenses. In this video, I will explain to you what this tense exactly is and when and how to use this in sentences. And after finishing this video, I hope you can also able to write and able to use this future perfect continuous tense in your sentences. So are you ready? Let's get start the video. And one more thing, this class is a part of series for you to understand the whole tense chapter very easily. So if you haven't checked the previous videos of this tense masterclass series, I will give the links in the cards or you can check the playlist from there. And please make sure you have subscribed this channel for all that is English learning videos updates. So what is this future perfect continuous tense? This future perfect continuous tense is used to express a continuous or ongoing action which will be completed by a certain period of time in the near future. Okay? This tense allow us to explain about something to do with the future and which will continue in the future also. That means an event which will have been going on before a particular time in the future and also that refers the duration of the event or how long the event will be continuing in the future. Okay? Now let's look at the following examples. Number one, by next January, she will have been living here for a year. By next January, she will have been living here for a year. Number two, you will have been traveling a great deal by the time you return home. You will have been traveling a great deal by the time you return home. In those sentences, will have been living or will have been traveling, they are the examples of future perfect continuous tense. In those sentences, the uses of future perfect continuous tense indicates that the continuous or ongoing action of living and traveling. Okay? So, we are thinking about the event or action in the future and explaining what will have been continuing at that moment or at that period of time in the future. Okay, got my point? Now, let's take a quick note on the difference between future perfect tense and future perfect continuous tense. There is a little bit difference of these both tenses. So let's look at the following sentences. First of all, I am explaining the future perfect tense sentence. I will have worked here for five years. I will have worked here for five years. As we read before in our previous video, if you haven't checked the previous future perfect tense video, you can check from the playlist. So in this future perfect tense, that refers to the future event. That's not a big deal, okay? That is a fact. But for the future perfect continuous tense, the sentence will be By next June, I will have been working here for five years. By next June, I will have been working here for five years. In this sentence, that refers the duration or how long the activity is continuing in the future, okay? With future perfect continuous tense, we are explaining that will be continuing in the future. Okay? That means the event or the activity by next June that will be continuing at that time. Okay? That is the basic difference between the future perfect tense and the future perfect continuous tense. So let us talk about the formation of this future perfect continuous tense. So there will be a subject that means I, you, he, she, it, they, we. Okay? Plus there will be auxiliary that is will have been plus verb plus ing because of it is a continuous tense we need to add ing with the verb like work plus ing play plus ing like that okay now let's look at the summarized table of the formation of full english future tenses first of all is simple future its auxiliary will be will or shall and its verb form will be bare infinitive. Number two, for future continuous tense, its auxiliary will be will or shall be. Its verb form will be present participle. Okay? 
because of it is a continuous tense we need to add ing present participle number three for future perfect tense the auxiliary will be will or shall have okay its verb form will be past participle or third form of verb number four which is now we are learning at this video future perfect continuous tense that its auxiliary will be will or shall have been okay and its verb form will be present participle because of it is a continuous tense we need to add the ing with the verb okay now let's talk about its structure with positive sentence negative sentence and interrogative sentence so let us talk about positive one first the structure will be subject plus auxiliary verb plus main verb that means present participle plus object plus we need to add time references for auxiliary verb we need to add will have been plus first form of verb or it can be base verb plus ing okay let's see the examples i will have been waiting for him for one hour i will have been waiting for him for one hour in this sentence will have been waiting that is the example of future perfect continuous tense the event in this sentence which is waiting that will be continuing in the future at that moment okay now for negative sentences the structure will be subject plus not which is inside the auxiliary verbs plus main verb that is present participle plus object plus time references so the auxiliary verb will be will not have been to make negative sentence the word not is added inside the auxiliary verb so that becomes will not have been so let us see the examples i will not have been waiting for him for one hour i will not have been waiting for him for one hour in this sentence one hour that is the time references of the sentence the event which is waiting that is the duration of this event which is waiting and for interrogative sentences the structure will be auxiliary verb plus subject plus auxiliary verb plus main verb that is present participle plus object plus time references interrogative sentences starts with auxiliary verb will and the auxiliary verb have been is used after the subject in sentence so that will be will plus subject plus have been plus first form of verb plus ing plus object plus time references okay for example will i have been waiting for him for one hour will i have been waiting for him for one hour okay now i will talk about the uses of future perfect continuous tense in sentences this future perfect continuous tense indicates an action that is continuous and at some point in the future that will be completed so what to do now from this lesson you have learned many things about the future perfect continuous tense where you learn when to use it how to use it how to construct sentences with it now let's take a quick recap with some more examples with positive negative and interrogative sentences positive sentence example will be it will have been raining for three days it will have been raining for three days for negative sentence the example will be it will not have been raining for three days it will not have been raining for three days and for interrogative sentences the sentence will be will it have been raining for three days will it have been raining for three days so now it's your time to write some sentences on your own that will help you to understand this tense very easily and with more practice you will be able to grab all the concepts of the correct uses of these tenses so that is our last class of this tense masterclass series if you have attended the whole series with me i hope that can clear your all doubts regarding this tense besides if you have any doubt regarding this tense or any other grammatical lessons you can comment me definitely i will answer with my best and share this video with your friends and family members who are also willing to learn english and if this video was helpful for you then give us a big thumbs up and please subscribe this channel for all latest upcoming English learning videos updates. Thanks for watching. Until then, keep practice.